Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn how to paint florals. I'm going to show you techniques with brush stroke, paint picking, layers, followed by easy steps how to make some flowers. So let's start. This is the flat brush that I'm going to use. Pick two different contrast colors on both ends of your flat brush. Set it nicely. Your brush should be fully loaded with the paint. Now, I'll show you the most basic stroke that we use. You just have to go slightly up with pressure, turn and come back. For wavy petal, we add slight jumps to the outer color. Starting with more pressure and releasing it as we reach the end. Set the brush for each new petal you start. Going up to the pointer and coming back. Coming to next. Make sure you keep the same color on the outer side of all the petals of one flower. This kind of stroke is generally used in roses. We make the rear petal first and then keep overlapping with the further petals. The brush has to be fully loaded for each new petal you make. Coming to next, these kinds of strokes are used to make side petals of a flower. So you start with pressure and end on the tippy toe of the brush, releasing the pressure with a slight tip. Another side petal with pressure and towards the end, releasing the pressure. Soft touch. Coming to leaves now. We can make plain leaves or add some waves to them. So just jump, jump and turn the brush. Again jump, jump and turn the brush. Put more pressure on the brush when you start the leaf. Towards the end it has to be a slight tip touching on the paper with very soft pressure. Another leaf stroke. So applying more pressure in the starting and then turning into softer touch from the tip. More pressure and softly turn. More pressure and turn and pick up the brush forming a very thin line. Painting poppies. It's the easiest flower to paint I guess. I've picked up red and yellow color on both ends of my flat brush. Now I'm making the rear petal of the flower first and then overlapping it with the next ones. I'm keeping my yellow color on the outer side for each flower. Again making the rear petal first and overlapping with the new ones. Taking fresh paint for each new petal that I'm making. Make sure you have good amount of paint in your brush. You can add some waves to the petals to give it a natural look. Now I'm adding a little white tinge to the tips and adding some details with the black. Now coming to stem, just add green, make the stems and poppies are so easy to make. Try it. Coming to rose, 
Make the rearmost petal first and then keep overlapping with the new ones. Pick fresh paint for each new stroke. Setting the brush plays an important role, so make sure you set it each time you pick up fresh paint. For this rose, I'm keeping white color on the outer side. Now my roses are done, I'm going to add some leaves to it. Adding a rosebud. Now coming to leaves. Add a little waves to your leaves. Make as many leaves as you want. And so, the roses are ready. Coming to the next flowers, I've added dark base for the flowers. Now I'm adding my petals. I'll start from the outside of the circle. Adding little waves to my petals. So bigger petals on the outside and we keep moving with smaller ones in the center. Overlap the new petals. Make sure you pick up fresh paint for each new petal you make and also set the brush nicely before using. Setting the brush is very important. So, bigger petals on the corner smaller ones in the center keep adding keep overlapping I like to keep lighter color on the outer end of each petal. You can make a variety of shaded flowers with the same technique. Here I'm showing you different flowers. Make the petals first and then you can beautify the center with more details. Play with colors. Just set the brush and you're good to go. You can use these kinds of flowers to make birthday cards for your friends, cards for your parents. It's fun. Everyone loves flowers, isn't it? It's an easy way to shade with two colors. It gives a good blend. So when you try it, do share the pictures with me. You can make butterflies, beautify them with more details. You can add leaves to your flowers. Give them whatever shape you like. Hibiscus. Starting with a dark circular base, I'm adding broad wavy petals. Hibiscus comes in many colors, red, yellow, white or peach. I'm showing you the red one here. 
using two contrast colors red and white. Make sure you fill the missed out space with red end of the brush. Keeping white on the outer side of all the petals. Hibiscus plants are known for their large colorful flowers. Now adding details to the center. These blossoms can make a decorative addition to your art. Add stem and you're good to go. Coming to an easy kind of flower with simple non-wavy petals. You can try it in any color. Make sure to pick up fresh paint for each petal you make. For leaves, start with a flat brush and turn it to end into thin strokes. Coming to another idea of a beautiful flower, making the base petals first. Keeping white on the outer end, picking up paint for each petal. Set the brush nicely. And now overlapping the top petals. Good to go. I hope you like this video. Do share your work with me. And I'm also open to any queries if you have. Let me know if you need help. Bye.